Jefferson County 911. Yes, I was a teacher called by high school. There is a here with a gun. 17-year-old Rachel Scott was the first student killed at Columbine in 1999. She was a normal teenager that left behind timeless wisdom in the form of six journals found after her death. She had it on the back of her dresser, and we didn't even see it for two years after she died. And then one day we moved it, and there it was on the back of her dresser. And she, it, it, it had been there for six years, and we didn't even know it. <laughs> that was so amazing. It blew us away because it was a second. It was one of her goals that she wrote in, about uh, making a difference, you know, that she was going to touch the lives of millions of people. Rachel's Challenge is the program based off Rachel's journal writings. The challenge aims to inspire, equip, and empower every person to create a permanent, positive culture change in their school and community by focusing on five simple principles. The first one is to eliminate prejudice, you have to look for the best in other people. And the second challenge is that to dream, dream big for your life. The third challenge is to choose positive influences for your life. The fourth challenge that we, we talk about, and all this is in Rachel's story, you know, is um, to speak with kindness. And the fifth challenge is to start a chain reaction of kindness and compassion that would ripple around the world. The reason we were intrigued by Rachel's challenge really is because it, it, it has the potential to sustain decision making on the part of staff and students. And really, in a nutshell, in my mind, it focuses on the golden rule. It helps us reflect on how we should treat others by you know, taking small acts you know, acting out small acts of kindness in, in real life situations. But Rachel's big deal is that you should go out of your way. It's a big deal to have to go out of your way every day to really make a difference. So even though it might not be the easy thing to do, it might be the right thing to do. And you just, you never know how much like a little thing can mean to someone and you can really make their day even by just like smiling at them or saying hi to them in the hallways. It can actually have a really big impact on them. The Rachel's Challenge program has an immediate impact on everyone in attendance. The stories and images are moving and thought-provoking. The tough job for the schools is maintaining the goals outlined in the program for the long term. I would say for that week, it was a very, very strong impact, but kids forget, you know. Kids go on with their daily lives and they don't realize that, you know, this story doesn't go away. It's still here, I mean. We're still trying to pursue this and I think that's why Link Crew is also such an important figure because um, we're going to continue this. We're going to do programs, we're going to do activities. The Link Crew at Ashwaubenon High School was created to link freshmen with upperclassmen to help the younger students make a smooth transition to high school life. But now this group is implementing the lessons learned from Rachel's Challenge with all students every day. We've formed the Friends of Rachel's Club here at Ashwabnan, which is what the link leaders are involved with. And uh, we're kind of like the core group in that club. And then we're inviting more and more kids to join the club, and anyone's welcome. And it's really just kind of a group that's preaching the principles we learned that day. We're having constant meetings on what we can do to keep our school interested in it and keep them all ongoing instead of, hey, do you remember that Rachel's Challenge thing? Oh, yeah. That was like a year ago. We want that to be, oh, are you going to the Rachel's Challenge meeting again? I hear that they're doing a new, getting ready for a new project, that kind of thing. So we're just thinking of all the things we can do to keep the kids interested. We know we have wonderful students that are going to do great things. And that was our hope in bringing Rachel's Challenge to the school is that they'll just be more co cognizant and mindful of how their words, how their actions impact others. And the great things they'll do include creating their own chain reactions within the community within the United States within the world.